conspiracy theories are a common phenomenon. Let's focus on the myths that surround some dead celebrities and the fact that some people just can't let go of them. We have all probably heard the myth that Elvis Presley didn't die in 1977, but he actually lived on. Publications such as the Weekly World News and authors like Gail Brewer Georgia have all made a living out of the hopes of fans that he might have lived on and that he didn't die overweight and alone in his bathroom suffering from heart failure probably caused from substance abuse and overeating. Tupac Shakur, Jim Morrison and Michael Jackson are a few other dead celebrities with similar myths around their supposed deaths. But this urban legend might not be as urban as you may think. Let's travel back to Russia in 1825. The 19th of November that year, Tsar Alexander I died. But myth and legend up to our time will have it that he faked his death and lived on for another 39 years as the Orthodox monk Fyodor Kuzmich. The myth claims that Tsar Alexander had early in his life partaken in the plot to kill his father, Pavel I. This assassination is no myth, and it's the very reason how Alexander came to power. But the if and how he was involved lacks evidence. Anyways, the myth holds that his partaking in all of this would have haunted him for the rest of his life. Alexander would then have faked his death while on a trip to the rural city of Taganrog by the Black Sea, with only a very few witnesses to confirm his death. Up to this day, people like Svetlana Semyonova make serious claims that Alexander lived on as the holy man and now Orthodox Saint Fyodor Kuzmich. There are made comparisons between letters written by Kuzmich and Alexander, and they are supposedly very alike. Kuzmich was also said to have some striking similarities to Alexander. And the heirs after Alexander are also said to have believed that Kuzmich was in fact Alexander. All of this put together, you might say, makes a pretty good case for his fake death. But on the other hand, one might be skeptical. If something seems too good to be true, it most often is. Conspiracy theories are all around us, and they all have in common that they try to connect the dots and find proof where there really isn't much. If you try to find some undeniable proof of the Alexander was Kuzmich story, you just end up with a lot of hearsay and claims. Research has shown that people in shock and unrest are more likely to believe a conspiracy theory than others. And when you look at the cases of dead celebrities that some people believe faked their deaths, it's most likely the diehard fans who believe in them. And it makes sense. If you make someone out to be larger than life, it might be hard to believe that they would just suddenly disappear. It might be easier to believe that it all was a part of their divine plan. Coincidences are harder to believe than a good imagination. But in the end, I guess what it all boils down to can be summed up with a famous poster from Fox Mulder's office saying, I want to believe. Thank you for watching and feel free to comment, share and please subscribe. And to quote the late or maybe alive and well Elvis Presley, thank you. Thank you very much.